Hi guys. I took two fridge compressors. They are both different models. I'll show you how to connect the power and capacitors to it, even though it's different. I have already signed it for easy understanding. Each compressor has three connection pins. The lower two pins of this compressor are the starting and running points and the upper one is the common. This compressor is different from the others. It is completely opposite design. But it doesn't matter. The bottom pin is common and the top left side is the running and the right side is the starting pin. Now we will see how to check common running and starting pin. This should be verified by placing a multimeter in continuous mode. Each time the resistance between the two pins should be checked. Now, I'll check the twice bottom pin of this compressor. It shows 69 ohms. Now, I'll check the ohms of the left side pin with the top pin. It shows 27 ohms. Now, I'll check the ohms of the right side pin with the top pin. It shows 46 ohms. One of the two pin showing more ohms is the starting connection and the other is the running connection. Here, the other pin will be the common connection and if you connect the other two to the common pin, the two pins with higher ohms will be the running pin and the other will be the starting pin. So, the top of this compressor is the common, the bottom of the left pin is the starting connection and the bottom right pin is the running connection. Checking the top two pin of this compressor. It shows 45 ohms. Now, checking the ohms of the left side pin with the bottom pin. It is showing 24 ohms. Checking the ohms of the right side pin with the bottom pin. It is showing 24 ohms. One of the two pins showing more ohms is the starting connection and the other is the running connection. Here, the other pin will be the common connection, and if you connect the other two to the common pin, these are OLP, overload protection kit. These kits are different types. It is connected to the common pin, and the power supply is usually the phase connected to it. It works even with the neutral. These are relays. Relays are also of different types. Sometimes it is one pin or two pin available. I have only these two types of relays. Different refrigerators may use different type of relays. But the work pattern is same. Since, I don't have an amp meter to measure current flow. I'm using a smart breaker. It usually shows on the display when it is close to 1 ampere or more. Now, after completing all the connections, connect the power to the smart breaker and connect the plug of the compressor. Note, it is flowing air and the air has the right pressure. But its ampere is not showing anything on the smart breaker because it is between one. Now, I will show how to connect the capacitor. A running capacitor of three microfarads is usually used here. A capacitor has no definite any polarity. It is a nonpolar capacitor. 
So, it is very easy, to connect. One pole of this, is connected to the running pin, and the other, to the starting pin, and the other connections, are as before. It should be noted that, using this capacitor, reduces the amperage, and, thus reduces the power consumption. Now, we will connect the other compressor, in the same way. This compressor is showing 4 to 7 amps, due to its internal fault. It is not working properly, and it is shutting down, automatically on, overload system. I will show, with direct power connection now. All compressors can be operated in this manner. But, it is not right to use it, like this. The compressor may be damaged, and may not get proper air flow. Therefore, compressors must be operated, using all kits. I hope, you liked this video. Thanks, for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and comment, if necessary. Good luck.